Hey everyone, just a quick video uh, on measuring external rotation in the shoulder. So I put something out recently on social media looking at external and internal rotation in a baseball or softball player, uh, looking at total range of motion. So we talk about GERD and sleep, a stretch, things of that nature, and somebody wanted to know how I measured external rotation. I think we previously talked about internal rotation, stabilizing the scapula. External rotation is a little differently how we do it here at Champion, how I've always done it. So what we like to do is put them in the plane of the scapula, so we put them a little off of the table, about 10-15 degrees off of the table, so you can see this angle here, he's not in the coronal plane or frontal plane. And then I want to take him through full external rotation, so R1, so resistance 1 we talk, and then once we hit R1, we push a little bit more into R2, and that's how we would measure it, right? So again, externally rotate them, we want to bring them up into a little off the table, a little horizontal A deduction, externally rotate R1, overpression to R2, and then we would take the measurement. So for him, we're looking at about 135, 140 degrees of external rotation, right? Because this is neutral, this is 90, and then we go a little bit further, and that's how we take our measurement, okay? So that's external rotation in an overhead athlete. That's how we like to quantify ER to get our IR and our total range of motion. So hopefully that makes sense, external rotation in the Glenn Hero joint.